Okay, and then HD audio on my motherboard is all the way over here. Thankfully, the cable is long enough. All right, so that one's plugged in. And now we look for the USB 2.0, which is right over here. It's always best to plug in the furthest away, just so you have room to play with. All right, just gonna come around the back and pull on the extra cabling. Okay, and let's see how it looks like in here. Okay, we can play with a little bit more later on, but now you see how that looks, pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring in the SATA power for the PCIe SSD and the Western Digital SSD. So I'm just going to fish one through here. Rack right back down again there. Uh, let's see, which one do I want to use? Since this will be the front of my machine where everyone can see inside of it, I will pick this cable, the one that comes from my power supply, and just again, fish it through here. Now we have a lot of cables coming through there, so it might be difficult. And we kind of have to do it blind. All right, got it in. Now let's turn around, see what damage I've done. All right, not too bad. And we'll just pull the rest through. All right, so now just to make things easier on myself, which I'm gonna have to do a little bit later on again, for the SATA data cable. I'm gonna take the Western Digital SSD out. And then now I see that I've actually gone in between the other cables, so I am going to just make it look nicer and fish it through, okay? All right, so I'm gonna plug this end right here okay in case you haven't plugged in an SSD let me go ahead and show you real quick you'll notice there's a little one here that looks like an L goes over here that's the power and then the shorter one is the data that end matches over here so just plug it in there okay and now I'm just gonna slide it in again I'm gonna have to remove it a little bit later when I fish that setup data cable but that's all right okay <clears throat> and now which one do we want to put through let's go ahead and put through the very end one because this one will not reach over here so that would have been the trouble I would have had before I have it here but the cables look a lot nicer since they are black <clears throat> all right and again, I'll play with that a little bit later on to make it look nice. I won't bug you with that on the video. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the SATA power for the top, the bottom mechanical drive, and these two back here. Okay, I'm going to keep this one for the mechanical drives. Just put that off to the side. And then I'm going to keep this strand for these SSDs. So we're going to have to do the same thing we did on the front one, just remove this. And it's one simple screw. And just plug it in, right down there. Then we reach across, since we know we're going to have to plug in the other one. And where we're going to, again, on this particular power supply, since we do have a shorter cable, Okay, 
just plug this one in right here. And what you can do is just spin it around a little tiny bit, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And again, I'm going to have to undo it, so I'm not going to screw it in totally. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the rest of the SATA cables. Just remember, we're limited because of the way this motherboard is inside of this case. We're limited to only the bottom ones, so I'm just going to connect them out here. Okay, you can see that right here. Simple connection. All right, so now all five are connected. Now, what I like to do to make all these cables just look a little nicer is I like to just join them kind of like a braid almost without spinning them okay and then we can just zip tie that like that you don't need to use zip ties but it's a lot cleaner if you did Now, I don't like to make mine look incredibly pretty since I do have to do this quite often. But, you know, I'm just showing you guys a few of the things I do when I build. All right. And now since that's there, we're going to go ahead and connect the uh, first one, which is for the Western Digital. Alright, so we'll disconnect, unscrew this guy. Oops. Connect that right in here. And that's it. Pretty simple connection. Okay. All right, and so now this is just going to stay kind of like this. Uh, the and we can push all the extra cables and everything inside of the chassis in this little hole right over here. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, and then now. We can just rest these back here alongside the SATA power cable, the ATX24 pin I was telling you about earlier. All right, and then that way it kind of hides everything. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and plug in then these two over here. Actually, I don't think I need to actually remove them. Nope, I don't. Perfect. Just kind of push them right in and they go in easily. Actually, let me just disconnect this real quick. The 
put these USB cables in that same strand. I'm sorry, the uh, HD audio and the USB 2 I meant. Just trying to keep everything nice and neat. I know you don't look at the back very often. I never do. <laughs> so that's usually my uh, dirty zone, though you don't need it to be incredibly ugly looking. Okay, now we'll plug it back in. Alright, so that these don't bother anymore, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just zip tie these to the case. They give you here these little spots here, these little openings in the case where you could easily uh, fit a zip tie. So just bend the tip a little bit just to make it easier. Kind of like that. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and zip tie to this little guy right here. Alright, and then we have the two mechanical drives, which on this one, it's going to be the same way I connected these guys, but it's going to be a little bit different, again, because of the way I had to place the drives. So I'm going to take both out, one, and two. Okay, just going to plug in this one. And now it's SATA cable. Okay, and then just pop this guy back in. and plug in this one right over here Okay.
Okay, so you can see the way I have that cabled. Not incredibly beautiful, but I will fix it up. One of the last cables I need to plug in is the PCIe, or the PCIe cables. This requires two by eight PCIe cables. And I'm gonna fish them in through right down here. You can see my finger right down there, okay? And the reason I have to do that is there really is no room right up here. Okay, so I'm gonna fish them in through there. And uh, let's see how that looks. So this particular power supply, uh, some might have two on two eight pins on one, but this particular one has one eight pin and then a six pin. Same thing for this guy. So I'll use those two cables. Slide them in down here. see that right here just sliding it in and I'm not gonna need all of it but I'm just going to put all of it through just for now like I've done in the past and now I'm gonna slip in the other one it's a little bit tight Okay, and now we are over here. So now, just make this an eight pin again, rather than a six pin. Okay, and then we have the last one. So now we have a fully cabled machine. Now while the cabling is not amazing, <laughs> and I'm going to work on that right now, this PC will function properly. Uh, again, both sides are going to be, uh, there's going to be glass, so you want to make it look as nice as possible. but. This is, this power supply is a semi-modular, so it's a little bit difficult with all the extra cables and the way that we have to arrange things because of the way that the 90 degree SATA connections are, but we'll get through that. Anyway, um, let me work through this and I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes. All right, so here is the finished product. Pretty clean on the inside. You know, uh, I did have to deal with a few extra cables than I actually needed. And then let's just turn it around. Okay, clean on the back, of course. And then on the very back, while it's not perfect, it's better than definitely what it was before. So now let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with the glass on. All right, and with the glass on. All right, she looks great, right? Glass off, glass on. I think she looks great. All right, so this is Iggy again with Dragon Blogger, showing you guys how to build a complete PC and cable a PC inside of the Cougar Panzer gaming case. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.